We don't have a sporting goods store in Kenora as such, um, or the area, and they come out to see the different types of firearms, uh, to purchase stuff that they don't normally get a chance to purchase, and uh, you know, availability of the stuff here in one location. Oh, it brings a lot of, uh, as far as business, it brings a lot of business into the community. Your restaurants are, are busy because of it, the motels are full. Uh, people buy fuel here. Oh, you got people from all walks of life. You got you got farmers. You got townspeople. You got sportsmen. You got target shooters. Uh, you know, upcoming target shooters. Lots of lots of youth here. It's all good. Well, we have displays uh, for firearms and related items: hunting, hunting gear, fishing gear, anything to do with sporting goods, and uh, some ammo and uh, well, different types of firearms. Uh, handguns, uh, all kinds of stuff really, something for everyone. A lot of people are scared of firearms until they come to a thing like this and they say, oh, those are beautiful, you know, and uh, it kind of maybe eases them a little bit. The Missoula Gun Show was founded in 1955. It's Montana's oldest annual gun show. So it's not just another gun show like a lot of towns have. This is an event. I mean, you can look out here and look at our parking lot. It's just completely jammed full. There's just thousands of people come in here to enjoy the show. You know, I, I feel we're very, very fortunate in the United States that we have the Second Amendment. It, it, you know, it's, it uh, contributes to our public safety and health and freedom and, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you've got gun collectors in Canada just like you do here, except more of them have to do it illegally because of your laws. I'm a collector. I put on a collector show, you know, so I don't see what the danger is of uh, a Canadian citizen being able to buy, sell, and trade and collect a World War I Vickers automatic machine gun. He's a collector. He's an honest person. What danger is he to your society? None. Evil people are evil. No matter how many laws you pass in the world, the evil people are still there. They're, gonna, they're still there. You cannot get rid of evil people. There's always some deranged person. Do we live in a dictatorship where one person misused a handgun in Canada and you're going to disassemble the rights of 150 million people and take away your rights because of his derangement? It's ridiculous. One person against all of you and he does something and you're going to react to that? The best nation, the best defense system of any country is uh, peace through power, and uh, God made man and cult made him equal. You know, if you don't have a gun, you'll be the other guy's slave.